Hey, so in this video I'll talk about how to set up Synergy in both your main computer and the Pi so you can share the keyboard and the mouse on your main computer and free up a lot of desk space so you don't need two keyboards and two mice on your desk. So the first thing you want to do is download Synergy on your main computer first. And you can do this one of three ways. You can either sign up and pay $10 or £7 if you're in the UK, which for me it's been worth it. I've been using it on my Windows. PC, my MacBook and my Pi all simultaneously. So it's freed up a lot of desk space for me, so I'll find the $10 worth it. You can either download the source code yourself and compile it. Um, I wouldn't recommend this unless you've got an advanced user and you understand what you're doing. Well, the third method is to download one of their nightly builds, which is free. It will be the same as downloading paid version basically um, but because Synergy is open source you can actually download it for free so once you have Synergy installed on your main computer I won't talk you through the steps it's pretty self-explanatory but just open Synergy and we're going to make our main computer the server so the first thing we're going to do is make sure the server's ticked at the top here and stop this a sec so the next step we want to do is actually configure the server. Um, that's my Pi already set up, I'll delete it for that. Um, so this is my MacBook's name. I wouldn't recommend changing this. I changed it before and it went a bit able. So keep your server's name the same. We want to create the Pi, so just drag this. My Pi TV is to the left of my MacBook, so I'll just leave it over there. Double click it and rename it Pi or lowercase. Hit OK. So now that we've told our server that we're going to expect a computer called Pi to connect to us, click OK and just hit Start for now. It's telling me here that client Pi is connected, you won't get this message. It's only doing that because my Pi is actually turned on and it's already running in the background. The next step you want to do is to install Synergy on the Pi itself. If you followed my last video on how to connect via SSH, you won't actually need to use a keyboard and mouse on your Pi at this point. So just simply open the terminal and connect to your Pi. So SSH, name of the user, and the IP address of the Pi. To the password. And now we're connected to the Pi via SSH. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is actually install Synergy on your Pi. We're going to use the apt-get package manager to do this. So let's simply sudo apt-get install Synergy. You won't actually install on my machine because it's already installed. It'll ask you if you want to continue, just hit Y and hit enter to continue and it'll install. So once you have Synergy installed, we need to create a script that will execute the client on the Pi to connect to our server running on our main machine. To do this, just type sudo touch forward slash user forward slash bin forward slash start synergy and dot sh because it's a shell script. We're creating a file using the touch command in the user, note that it's user without any bin start synergy. And we need sudo because the user and bin is protected. And sudo is just the admin command. So we're going to use a text editor in the terminal called nano. And open that file we just created. If you have half the name spelled out, just hit tab and it will auto complete for you. Hit enter. So the first thing we want to do is tell the Pi how we actually want to run this script. You can do that by typing the following and using bash to execute the script. The next line will kill all previously running Synergy clients on the Pi. We want to wait one second for it to give it time to actually kill all the previous processes. The next line is actually the main one. It will execute the client on the Pi, give it a name, and tell which server to connect to. 
So to do this, we need to do synergy. C space dash dash name and then the name of the client, which is pi, and that will will relate to the name we set up earlier. And the name of the server. So in my case, it's my full computer name. Like so. And exit 0 to exit the terminal. Save the file, hit Control X, hit Y, and hit Enter. Okay, so the final thing we have to do is tell the Pi that this file we created is actually an executable. To do that, we do sudo chmod 777 and then point to the file and hit enter. Okay, so once we told the Pi how to execute our scripts, all we have to do is type the name of the script itself. And we don't have to type in user bin every time because the user bin is on the path. So we just need to type the name of the script and hit enter. We'll see no process is found, which is normal. And then from this point on, if you started your server by hitting the start button down there earlier, you'll notice that you can now move the mouse onto your Pi. So if you liked this video or you think it may have helped you out in some way, please feel free to like and subscribe for more Pi related videos. In the next video we'll talk about setting up Visual Studio Code as your default text editor. With it you can take advantage of IntelliSense and debugging tools for practically any programming language.